Well, hello, my inky friends. A long time no see. It's Cindy Lynn with My Inky Fingers. Thank you so much for joining me today on this lovely afternoon or evening or morning, wherever you are. I have got this month's Paper Pumpkin with a giveaway. As per usual, a Paper Pumpkin subscription for a Canadian and some inky goodness for anyone else anywhere in the world. And that will consist of a little stamp set bundle with some designer series paper. It'll be a surprise. You'll see when you get it in the mail. However, I want to talk about this month's Paper Pumpkin really quick. You know I don't like to waste your time. So this here came in the kit and this is all about next month. Now I've got my ideas about next month and I thought next month was going to have to do with little treats and little bags and stuff like that. They're saying that it's going to pair with the Peaceful Place Suite. That's new. I haven't actually picked it up yet. Do I need a reason to buy anything else? Probably not. But this month, um, I, I have to say, I'm not a fan of green. You guys probably know that. But I've got some really good ideas for these. And if you're one of my Paper Pumpkin subscribers or an Inky Bestie on my channel, down below you can click Join My Channel, you get the Paper Pumpkin Alternative video for free. And this month, let me tell you, I have got some ideas for you. I think I'm going to use this month's Paper Pumpkin to show you how to hand paint your own plaid backgrounds. You will not believe how easy they are. But this here... Here. card do you see the pattern here this is exactly like some designer series paper we have and actually that's going to be your keyword for today so I want you in the comments to let me know what the name of the paper pack that this here paper came in and what country you live in those two things and you must be subscribed to my channel so I want to show you though because as soon as I saw this these came to mind. Now, these are not only special because they're made by me, but I have just concocted a DIY Distress Oxide Spray with Stampin' Up! inks. And I actually did these backgrounds with it. I mean, these here are the cutest little cards, aren't they? And I actually used this same piece of paper that they've included in this month's Paper Pumpkin. I didn't really like this card because I embossed in white and I found it didn't really show up, but hey, we all learn, right? So these here, I will actually show you guys how I did the backgrounds for these. And just as an extra little bonus, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this, but this is what those distress spray oxides, ox distress oxide stain spray, whatever you want to call it. I'm not trying to steal anybody's names, but it's a DIY, right? But here's what they look like. You can paint with them. And as you can see, I painted the whole image here and then, well, actually I splattered it, but I sprayed it first, or afterward, actually, I sprayed it afterward. Get it together, Cindy Lynn. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe so that you can see how to concoct all of your own oxide sprays. It's, it's a video you don't wanna miss. So on to our paper pumpkin for this month. This one, as I said, I wasn't excited about green, but I'm excited about the alternatives. My wheels are turning, and we've got red linen thread, which is always fantastic because then we don't have to dye it. So I'm going to squish that together and put it in my little drawer. These little bits and bobs, I have a little drawers for these and I will just toss them in there because I am accumulating those. But our stamps, let's use this fancy green envelope to put behind them. We've got Merry Christmas, Peace, Merry Christmas, Merry Damn Christmas, Merry Damn Christmas. <laughs> if you know, you know. Thumbs up on the video if you know why I say that. Nevertheless, peaceful Christmas wishes. Wishing you and your family the best. I love that that's nice and tiny. You can even put that on the front of your envelope. That would be super cute. Holiday cheer to you and yours from our home to yours. Sending you peace and joy all year long. I was going to say paw prints. Remember last month? I thought they were snowflakes or something. Some really cute little stamps. Some snowflakes and some leaves. Silly me. They were the veins of the leaves. You know, I just make it up as I go along. It's okay. So you got your snowflakes here. They are actually snowflakes this month. And then the cute little trees. I mean, these, my motors are running already. And I have to say, I really like these envelopes. And I think when I show you guys in the um, paper pumpkin um, exclusive alternative class. I'll show you guys how to paint them in green. Why not? Because then you're going to stretch your kit a little further. But this one here, in case you're new to Paper Pumpkin, you're welcome to follow all of the instructions and make them exactly like you see here. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to challenge yourself and just get a little more out of your kit and step it up a little bit, definitely check out my and everybody else's alternatives because there are some amazing demos out there that have great alternatives. Now, this here coordinates with 
basic gray real red shaded spruce and of course silver foil and speaking of silver foil you know sometimes they when they engrave these because they're all done laser engraving right you know how i've mentioned before it burns the paper and you get that yucky kind of burnt look i think they've really stepped up their game because these ones don't have that yucky burnt look look now listen this is important when you take these out save this as a stencil for blending the word noel or tracing it and then painting watercolor because you can watercolor paint with all of these new distress oxides you guys you're you're in for it make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video and these oh these are super cute the only disappointment i have is there's not very many usually we get a bigger sheet i know i'm greedy right <laughs> been nice to get more of those because those are super cute actually i should probably show you up close i don't know if you can see how yeah see how they're kind of like snowflake glittery super cute now these you know me i always cut my cards so they've given you enough here for uh, five one two three four five but if you cut them in half and use them as a card front now you got 10 card fronts and you didn't have to buy any colored paper you got some nice labels and these ones are gold foiled you guys or excuse me silver foiled so that's kind of nice. I love no extra work embossing them yourselves. And then these nice little tags. And don't forget you can cut off one end or the other or alter them any way you want. But here, here is the masterpiece of this kit. So five of these, cut them in half. And actually, if you're a scrapbooker, the um, score line on here is so faint. You could actually use that as a full piece. And you know what? That might make a nice little framed, you know, something, something for your wall. I love this, this print here. Absolutely. Or you can get 10 cards out of it, right? Let me know what you, what you think you would do with those. You're going to cut them up because if you don't cut them up, you fold them in half and then the back of the card, don't you kind of feel like this waste? The only time people look at the back is to see who made it or how much someone spent on a card, right? So now that those plaid little background thingies here. These you can use on your insides, you can use on your outsides, you can use them just on a plain card front. Now you've got extra cards again, because there's probably five of these, which there is. So I will show you how to paint those in the alternative class. And then the circles, of course, that's just using a circle punch and cutting them out. And then look at this, you've got some nice little wood grain on there and your fancy schmancy cardboard. Can't live without that, but that's pretty much what I got for you guys today. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the DIY Stampin' Up Distress Oxide Stains. And don't forget, if you join my channel, the link is down below, you will get not only the Paper Pumpkin Alternative class, you'll also get a Stampin' Chat and my monthly class. You'll get three exclusive videos at the Inky Bestie level, ad-free, one-on-one, a couple hours of just extra inky goodness. Now, real quick before you run away, the winners for last month's giveaway for the Paper Pumpkin subscription and the worldwide inky goodness prize was announced and drawn on my live Halloween bingo bash last week on Thursday. If you missed that, you got to go check it out because Todd made a Halloween card. It was fun to be had by all. But this month's giveaway for the Paper Pumpkin subscription and the Inky Goodness item for any worldwide entry will be on November the 4th, Thursday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time on my live stream. So good luck to all. Don't forget to leave me a sentence. And in that sentence, you must name the designer series paper pack that this came in in any kind of sentence that you want and remind me of what country you live in so i know that i'm drawing the names correctly and until i see you guys again take care and happy stamping